Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, a channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are going to continue our platinum playthrough of World of Final Fantasy. And so, without further ado, let's get into the next chapter of our quest. World of Final Fantasy Chapter 5 the champion who saved Grimoire. From the looks of the it, the Bahamutian encampment is going to stay a goblin to hang out for good. At least they'll leave Cornelia alone for a while, now that we've gotten rid of the soldier controlling them. Once mirages are scattered and separated from their keeper, they revert to their wild state. And wild mirages are something you just learn to get used to in Grimoire. That's why you've got Mr. Warrior here. Yes, indeed. However, we cannot rule out the possibility of another Bahamut attack. What we need is an alliance with another country. Some sort of mutual agreement to come to each other's defense. Actually, word has been spreading of such an organization. An anti-federation group as large as a nation. Perhaps the time has come to formally introduce ourselves. They call themselves the League of S. League of S? Do you know of any way to reach them? The Thane of Seronia to the north has been in contact with them. I believe one of the merchants mentioned it. Seronia, yes. They have been resisting Federation annexation. Yes. Highness, allow me to journey there and learn what I can about the League of S. Alone? To get to Seronia, you must pass through all manner of places teeming with dangerous mirages. And I... Hey, maybe we could go instead. Yeah. Mr. Warrior here, he and the Brigade should stick around and keep the goblins in line. That's right. Cornelia's legendary champion belongs right here in Cornelia. We're the best fit for this. We've got tons of mirages to collect, and could start just about anywhere. So, you know, it wouldn't be any trouble. What a kind offer. You would really do that? Sure. You're doing us a favor by pointing me and Lon in a new direction. We're glad to help. I thank you. We are in your debt. Here, all Cornelian emissaries are given these letters as proof of their authority. It should help you on your way. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in hanging around. Hmm. So long. Take care. Bye-bye, bye, -bye, bye, -bye. Uh, Your Highness. Okay, then let's get going to the Seronia place. Just All right. hop on the train and take that choo-choo the north. Yep, not quite yet, though. I want to see if this guy's back down here. So, we did happen to... Um, somehow create the Warrior of Light, which uh, is the hero of the original Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy 1. Actually, he was... there were four heroes, or four Warriors of Light in the original Final Fantasy, but over time they just kind of amalgamated into that one guy. So, it's pretty cool how the, the this game pays homage to all of the old uh, games. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Now I can ensure my helmet is always in tip-top condition. I can't stand unsightly deaths. I know it isn't much, but please accept this as a token of my thanks. So this guy was the uh, townsperson quest from a long time ago. We've been trying to get this hammer to him ever since the Nebula Cave. Or the Nether Nebula. So, yeah, it's Good to finally get that quest done. And we have completed the mini venture. Best helm in the realm. Finally. Oh, and earned the trophy a helping hand for it. So there you go. Everybody's happy. I still have to climb back on up the stairs.
and talk to the conductor over here to get back on the train. Right! Tickets, please! And we're heading north to Saronia. Go on, then. All aboard! Holy maze! I could stare for days at this place. Looks like we're gonna have to find a way through. Support abilities such as sizzle can be used to burn away vegetation or melt ice that is blocking your path. So whenever we see the support icon, we can use a mirage that knows sizzle to get burning. Thanks. The dangerous, or you need a break. Don't forget that you can use the gates to return to Ninewood Hills and take a time out. Yep, so we can go ahead and do that right now if you want to. door but does it even go anywhere hello let's check it out w w hey uh what where are we now visitors what an unusual surprise um who are you and where are we? My name is... Huh? It was right there on the tip of my tongue. Use it or lose it, I suppose. Oh, but this is my tea room. So who are you? Will you join me for tea? Uh, well, you might say that we're sort of passing through. But I'm Lon, and this is... It's Rain. And my brother and I are from Ninewood Hills. Lawn and Rain from Ninewood Hills. <gasps> of course. I had a dream about this. I saw the two of you come here. Today's the day. Huh? Right. I think I might know why you've come here. Shall we get started? Uh, sorry, come again? You know what me and Rain are doing here, even though we don't have the slightest clue? Mm-hmm. Your keepers looking for new mirages. You've come to touch the souls of your friends, their past, present, and future, to step into their shoes and fight when mirages threaten them and they need you most, to sway them towards success. Correct? Uh, I don't know. Wow, dude, that was a lot of words. Hey, Rain, you follow that? Uh uh, nope. I am officially lost. So. Whose soul will you touch? Alright, so in this new area of Ninewood Hills, we can go on intervention quests. During these, we will reach out to the souls of friends and help them in their hour of need. In addition to meeting new mirages, we will receive rewards for completing these quests. And the Warrior of Light's Champion Medal has been unlocked. So we can purchase it from the girl who forgot her name. Would you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Alright, so let's... Uh, ooh, Arma Gems! Hey, what are these Arma Gem things? Hmm? You found some Arma Gems? We're not exactly sure what they're for, but we did turn up a few. That's good. They have great value here. You can think of those gems as a kind of token. Token? Yes. In order to touch another's soul, 
or to tamper with time. First, you must offer compensation, hence the Arma Gems, tokens you can pay in recompense. Oh, so the more we find, the more stuff we can do here. Hmm, right. But isn't that kind of dodging the question? Okay, they're tokens, but where do they come from? You needn't wonder about every little thing. Huh? The world has some secrets. You're simply better off not knowing. Okay. Well, that's certainly one way to get around a mechanic. Um, so the armor gems... I mean, we've been getting them after boss fights, so they're not really that tricky to track down, just work the storyline. Um... See, between quest and champion medals, you'll have plenty of reasons to burn armor gems. So where do you get more special places? Yeah, like boss fights and whatnot. Good morning. What now? So can we trade Which any champion in? champion would you like to awaken? So we can use the armor gems to get the Warrior of Light's Champion medal. Alright. Yeah, sure, we'll trade in two armor gems for that. Why not? And we have earned the trophy a medium awakes. So what's a champion medal? What's the stuff about invoking champions? With invocation, you can call upon the mediums you've met for help, and then they will fight alongside you in the field of battle. Dude, what? Really? Awesome. The catch is, you can only invoke their power for a very limited time. Basically, they pop right in and push right back out. Pop, push, got it. Hmm, all the same, the fact that we can invoke them at all, it sounds pretty useful. Yeah, it'll make collecting mirages way easier. All right, but there are restrictions. First, not all mediums are champions. They must awaken to their true potential before you can invoke them. Furthermore, some champions awaken in stages, and each to their own abilities. You'll need armor gems to awaken them, and you'll want to put some thought into who you're going to invoke, and at what time for that matter. Uh... Yeah! And invoking isn't free. You have to bend all kinds of divine rules to pull it off. Which means more compensation. And I guess we can't pay in Arma Gems? Not the gems. Use those here to awaken champions. To invoke, you'll have to store up a different kind of tender. Why don't you think of it as a kind of gauge? When you have enough champion points, you can invoke them. Oh, that's super easy to understand. So, how do we go about storing champion points, then? Wear down your souls. Huh? To put it simply, the gauge fills when you're hurt, and when you defeat mirages. Um, right. Okay. So basically, all we have to do is keep fighting. Correct. Hmm. Oh, I won't overthink it. Oh, one thing. Many champions can be found across Grimoire, but you will only be able to call upon three of them at any given time. Think carefully about the situation, and choose the champion suited to the task at hand. But why? It takes a lot of connecting the dots to make sure they can reach you. Unfortunately, three is the most that I can handle. But if you're willing to offer up your souls as additional portals, then I could arrange something. I am pretty sure there's no way that can be good, so we'll pass. Alrighty, so... Yep, we've got this. We can turn mediums into champions like we did with the Warrior of Light. And now that he has been awakened, we should be able to call on him with this champion medal. And... Yeah, so that's something. Use the game menu to select champions. All right. Oh, Jesus, there's more. 
champion gauge determines whether or not you can invoke champions to a maximum of three stars. Keep in mind that each champion requires a different number of stars to summon. Oh boy. So we go into our menu, we now have champion medals unlocked. And so we can put in the medal for the Warrior of Light. And at one star, we can use Oversoul to inflict physical damage. So basically, that move he used on the giant goblin. Sweet. So you had something else over here, too. I'm taking a break now. What now? We could intervene? What is that? Whose soul will you touch? Alright, so there are two intervention quests we can do. They each cost two armor gems. Um... One of them is a one-star quest, which I'm assuming is pretty easy. The other one's a five-star quest, so we probably aren't going to be doing this one. I'm guessing with only one of these quests that we're able to take on, because we've only got three armor gems, should probably do the one that I could actually beat. The Warrior of Light patrols the streets of Cornelia, keeping good citizens safe. If he spots a suspicious figure on the castle walls. Well, let's see what it is. I never believed it to be more than a legend. A bedtime story someone concocted to fill the dreams of children. But the warriors of light are real. One lives in me. Shocking, and yet, this part of me has stirred before. <laughs> I must be more tired than I thought. Far too much excitement all at once. Hmm? You won't find her. After all, she likes spending time with her subjects. You were mistaken to search here. Huh? How did we get ourselves dragged into battle? From this room, you can take control of your friends' destinies and redirect the course of their lives by fighting their most crucial battles. So it's like, we're helping them in secret? You can think of it like that. Hey, get ready. Oh shit, those guys got some toughness to them now. I was not expecting them to be that uh, heavy. Huh. Jesus, we still haven't killed him. There we go, that took a bit. Oh, champions. This is a new ability. We can use Oversoul. Yeah, on the bottom mission soldier. Let's do it. Let's see what this uh, champion medal is all about. I mean, this is his destiny we're middling with after all. We might as well have him fight it.
<laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. I did a thousand HP. That's a nice chunk of change. Yeah, it is time to whisper in to heal up. Oh, Jesus, not very much. Smash. Let's try this cross slash here. Jeez, the critical is only a hundred. God damn, he's got some armor. All right, let's try this whisper wind again. Maybe the goblin wouldn't be quite so resistant against it. There we go. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep doing what we were doing. So she could still use some health. Alright, we've got the Bahamushin Soldier in critical HP now. So let's see if we can't take him all the way down. Nope, not quite. Ooh. All right. I believe it is time to heal. Looks like shit, he's still got 300 HP left, that's a lot. But this little goblin over here only has 100, so let's try to take him out. Um, actually I think I'm gonna use Whisper Wind. I might not kill him, but I could use the HP. And she topples. That's fine, though. Finish off the goblin, so we've only got one person to deal with. And... It looks like Sylph will hit before the Bahamushin Soldier, so we can restack before it's his turn. So, whew, he doesn't kill anybody. And I think I should be able to kill him before it's his turn again. Nope, not quite. Whew. She is seriously hurt. So he's down to what? 4 HP. Missed it by freaking 4. Alright. There we go. And we've completed our first intervention quest. <sighs> I'm glad that her highness is absent. The last thing I want is for her to be abducted again. Hmm? Again? But when has she ever been taken before? And it's odd. While battling that Federation soldier, it felt... As though some divine force was guiding my hand to victory. Oh yes, I am far, far more tired than I thought. What just happened? When we do that, what does the other person experience? 
Even time must bend to the whims of fantasy. This place is power. Here, dreams and reality and time all touch all that was, and all that is, and all that will be. From here you changed history. You don't have to worry. The souls you help are not able to see you. And yet, everything that you accomplish on their behalf becomes something that they accomplish. So if you come here, fight someone's battle for them, and emerge victorious, what they see is the same battle won the same way, but by their own hand. Uh, that is totally confusing, but wow! So we get to help a bunch of people out, and we get to keep all the prismariums we find? There's like no downsides at all! Seems that way, but in a way, there is a downside. With that much power, we could do as much harm as we do good. This room of hers affects the destinies of so many. Which makes her... what, exactly? Is she like Enacro? A god? I wouldn't say I'm a god, in the sense you're thinking of. Huh? But if you misuse this power, you might not like the consequences. Consequences? Me and... him? Is it her? Well, our fates have entwined. So now that the two of you have made it to this place, I suppose she'd want me to share a little of this power over time and fantasy. We, uh, won't mess around. I promise. Good. And another trophy, the power of fantasy. We're just racking them up. So we are out of armor gems, so there's not much else we can do here. So let's head on over to the shop real quick before we head Different out. Different than usual? Don't be silly. I just decided to settle down. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! So we did buy some local weed before so that we could inflict confusion. Um, because that was the only way to imprison uh, that one mirage. This time we're going to buy some Lethian chimes. Uh, for reasons that will become apparent later. And so now with all that out of the way, we can go ahead and continue our exploration of the Pyroglow Forest and head on up to Saronia. Okay, so... They mentioned having a mirage that knows sizzle. We happened to collect a black knack in the watch planes. And what we have here, the very first thing it learns is the support ability sizzle. So make sure you've got the black knack in your party. Um, and if you don't, you can head on back to the watch planes to catch one. Well, if you do, you can go into your prism case here and switch it, switch it out into your party. So just as long as you've got it going forward, it will definitely be very helpful. Oh, well, we almost got that chest. Right, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, we've got some move and a new mirage. A Reaver Moo. Alrighty. Well, we need to Libra that. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Before we accidentally kill something. Use a Fire Attack to create Prism Tunities. Alright.
See, Black Knack does know sizzle, but does it know a fire attack? I know rain doesn't. Uh, Red Fang is a fire attack, but unfortunately, I can't use it for some reason. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to kill it. I do believe status ailments refresh or remove after battle. So I won't have... I think that was Oblivion in the next fight, so we'll just have to try again. To remember herbs. What do those do? Removes Oblivion. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. If I would have been able to pick up the chest first, I could have caught that Reaver Moo. Unfortunately, the Moo got to me before I got to the chest. So now we know what to do going forward. And let's check out this little dead end up here. For a second chest. And some Phoenix down. Oh, what is that guy? Well, first things first, let's get rid of these Moo because I don't need them. Oh, Jesus. Uh, looks like poisoned. So let's go ahead and use our Libra ability on the Cockatrice stack. Alright, so our Reaver Moo, we need to use a fire attack. Our Cockatrice, we just need to use physical attacks. Alright, the trick is going to be unstacking them without killing them. See, Double Smash has a medium topple strength. Everything has a medium topple strength, it looks like. So I think I'm just going to throw a stone, because that seems like the least damaging. Uh-oh, looks like it's getting ready to die. So let's heal it up real quick. Keep throwing stones at it. Alright, it's wobbly. It's wobbly. And this stone should knock it over. Okay. So now we can get to the capturing. Except that they are very low on HP. So if I do any kind of attack they are going to die. So I'm actually going to unstack myself so that I don't do too much damage. I'm going to have Rain defend so that it only takes her halfway down instead of full down. We're gonna Toss some potions out. Uh, who's coming up next? First, we'll potion the Reaver Moo. We'll have him defend so it doesn't go all the way down. And Red Fang. Red. Why can't I? I only have three AP. So I can't use Red Thing right now. So we will have the Knack defend as well. 
He should have enough action points the next time he comes around. Uh, Sylph will go ahead and use a potion. I am running really low on potions here. Okay, my... Golem will attack the Cockatrice because that is how we create the Prism Trinity there. I now have enough AP to Red Fang Reaver Moo and create a Prism Trinity there. So it is now time to capture. Or not. Alright, we got the new. To try to imprison again. To fail again. Alright, come on. Get in the box. Get in the box. There we go. You just gotta know how to talk to him. So we have now captured a cockatrice. It doesn't have the flutter ability, which may be attributed to the fact that its wings are eyebrows. <laughs> oh god. And it does have the sizzle ability. So if you do not have a black neck from the watch planes, you could capture a cockatrice here and still be good to go. So we've got two new mirages. All right, so this is a new area up. Ooh, we've got a Merc Rift up there. So we do want to check out our cul-de-sacs first. How are we supposed to get past these vines? What's the symbol? That's one of Inna Crow's the patented sizzle symbols. She got it patented? That's your cue to the brain along the mirage that's learned the sizzle ability. And if you don't have a mirage with the sizzle ability just yet, you're sure to find one close to by, so keep looking. Yep, so if we've got our black knack, just approaching it will pop him out. And if you don't have your black knack, uh, nice. capture yourself a cockatrice, and that'll have it too. And then we can get a thunder seed. So we can teach the Thunder ability to one of our Mirages. Oh, nothing up here. Except the Mirage. Here we go! Yeah, we got Oh, here's another baby behemoth, if you didn't catch one in the watch planes. Alright, then we've got another treasure chest up here in this little offshoot. The three gold hourglasses. Grimoire sure has no shortage of wonders, does it? I know. How high up are we? I wonder what would happen if we could shot. Hey, why don't you find out? Go on, we're the waiting. Uh, I'll pass. We have a level 13 Merc Rift here. I am only level 9, so this might not be... 
Very good. Let's make this good. Dude, it's on. What are these things? Sharp wall. Nine hundred HP a piece. Use fire attacks to create a prism tunity. All right. Well, I've got fire attacks. The hard part is going to be living that long. Well, that did three hundred. going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, Jesus, yes. Oh, my God. She is almost dead. See, I saw they were partially weak to uh, wind damage. So I'm going to go ahead and use Whisper Wind to heal up and keep the pressure on. Hopefully it'll do enough damage that I don't die on the crackback. Eesh, that's still really low. I'm, I'm gonna have to throw a potion. And hopefully Lon doesn't die. That well, looks like he made it through. Yeah, I am almost completely out of potions. Alrighty, so they will... Oh, we get to go first. Alright, one down. That's going to make it a little bit easier going forward. Don't kill... Don't kill Lon. Don't kill Lon. Oh, they toppled Lon. That's almost as bad. Oh, they killed my golem. No, they didn't! Oh! Alright, we're getting there. We are going to definitely restack. So that hopefully I don't die. Oh shit! Oh, fuck. No. No. Well, that's not good. Good thing we learned these Phoenix Downs. Oh, good. That revives everybody. Barely. Um, let's see. Oh, not enough AP. Alright, so let's grab another potion. Alright, we're back in the game. Hey, we can put one to sleep. There we go. That'll lessen the incoming damage. Let's see, and now we can use our red fang on the not asleep one to create a prison tunity and hopefully. Come on, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, yes! All right, we've got ourselves a shark claw. And there's only one left. And we have finally powered up our Oversoul.
come here, warrior of light. I will banish this darkness once and for all. That is fucking cool. I am not gonna get tired of that. No trouble at all. <laughs> no trouble at all, says the guy who almost died. Wow, 7,000 experience. Woo! We received two fish scales and a high potion, too. Oh, I do have those high potions, so if I do run out of potions, I've got something even better. Alright, so we have captured ourselves a shark wall. Which is heavy on strength, magic defense, and agility. Plans to one day star in its own movie, Chomper 2, The Shark Wall. There is no part one. The shark, shark wall. Oh my god. Yeah. But we got a water type. And the trophy Sweet Revenge for completing a Merc Rift. So we're doing pretty good, huh? What's down here? Oh, another chest! Always check your dead ends for chests. 